on my way to do a little rehab at the shop. Just now starting to get where I can get off of crutches. You know, this is the first video, so nobody really knows, but been on crutches for over a month now after a labrum repair surgery. Here's my, there's my crutch. I just carry one around now and often get off of it. But yeah, on the way to the shop. Getting this crutch out is always annoying. Ugh. Yeah, here we go. All right, rehab's done. I know I didn't show much of it. I still feel weird filming myself. So yeah, maybe next time. This was actually day two. Uh, it's going pretty good. Now I'm going to go get something to eat. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. All right, I got my food. I didn't show it. Um, this this vlogging thing is new to me, so but there it is, right there. Probably not the healthiest thing in the world to eat, but home sweet home. You know, it's really hard to hold a phone and a crutch and go upstairs. I don't know if anybody's ever tried that before. Blah. All right, living room. I have two kids, so house is a constantly a mess. Uh, so. I guess step one with making these videos would be to tell you who I am. I am a NASCAR pit crew member for Richard Childress Racing. I'm a tire carrier. I'm the one that runs out with the tire and puts the tire on after the tire changers, you know, take the lug nuts off. Last year I started off the year on the front of the 62 Xfinity car for Brendan Gaughan. I ended up being the rear tire carrier for Austin Dillon on the three sprint cup car. That's where I hurt something in my hip. I ended up tearing my labrum, which I guess is like a gasket at the top of your hip. I don't really know. It could have already been aggravated or what, but at Bristol, I guess it was the last Bristol this year, is when it got too bad and I ended up having to come out of that race and then had to get scheduled for surgery. So now I'm in recovery from that and I haven't carried tires since then, but recently uh, yesterday was my first day of kind of doing rehab with our athletic trainer at RCR and that seems to be doing really good. So just trying to get better and get ready for next year. Um, married and I have two kids, so often busy and I also 
have a print shop that me and a buddy started, you know, co-founded, and it's like graphics, which is like vehicle wraps, signs, banners, and uh, we do that actually in my basement. So I'm gonna show you that next. All right, here's the print shop. Uh, those are some of my go-kart trophies from when I was a little kid that my mom brought down. Um, this is our laminator. These are some little test wall graphics we were doing. Um, right there too, a little test stuff. And this is our printer. The Roland XR640 printer cutter. That's the computer we use to run it. These are as our current desk is set up. I'm a little embarrassed how big of a mess it is. This is my area where I do a lot of the designing for the shop. Got some audio equipment. Maybe tell you more about that later. And in here is the the like assembly cutting prepping room. This is our cutting table. You can cut right on top of this. Here's what a real estate sign that we do. That's our little sample sign. A bunch of junk stuff we're putting on decals. That's pretty much it. It's our little shop. And now while I have limited mobility and aren't at working at the shop at RCR, I pretty much work on our print shop because I can sit at a computer and do it. Whereas at the race shop, I do a lot of welding so I gotta move around a lot. Hopefully I'll be back there next week maybe as early as next week but uh, the doctor wants two weeks. So until then working here. So I have a print customer here that wants to take the logo that we made for his handyman service and I think he's getting t-shirts made and he said he needed it in vector format and since I use Adobe Illustrator it's already in a vector format so make sure my cut pass off and I'm going to go to save as I'll make a new folder called you and I'm going to save save it in there Okay, now he also asked for a distressed version to put this on a t-shirt and have it kind of a like a grungy weathered look. I'm going to make my artboard a little bit bigger here. And then I'm going to take this whole image here, group it um, on the text. I should ungroup it so I can select the text separately first. I'll create the turn the text into outlines. Then I'm gonna group the whole thing. I don't know if that's important or not. Then I'm going to go to object compound path make and turns it into a compound path. Then I'm going to go over here to my vector textures. I actually found this set of them on a YouTube tutorial. I'm gonna copy this one paste it onto my logo and since it's vector I can scale it to whatever I want without you know losing resolution stick it right over top command A to select everything and I'm gonna go right up here which subtracts front and it's going to cut out all those little dots it's gonna since that's on the top it's gonna cut that out from my logo And bam, there it is. So now you can see, say I make a little a blue box here. And I put the box behind the other one and I move it behind. You'll see that actually those little cutouts are see-through. So when it's screen printed on a t-shirt, it'll kind of look weathered. And that's it. Now I'm going to send this off to him. You know, the absolute worst part about doing these videos is how much crap I'm probably going to get from the people I work with and the guys on the other teams and my team. Um, 
But, you know, I've wanted to do them for a while, and I think it would be interesting. Like, you know, hopefully I'm going to take you guys along to the racetrack and see what pit practice is like and stuff like that, and maybe a little bit of shop work. Um, I Hopefully it's interesting, and, you know, I'm just going to do it and see what happens. So, yeah, to you guys who don't like it, come at me. I'm just kidding, but I don't even know who this is going to appeal to. You know, you got your NASCAR fans, but I'm also a big tech nerd a little bit. So, yeah, I mean, I'm sitting here talking to you on an iPhone with an iPhone microphone, but I got a bang radio quality microphone right here um, from doing some podcasts that I like to do once in a while. So, yeah, I hopefully have a little bit of interesting stuff to share, and that's my plan with these uh, videos.